Welcome back in everyone to another episode of the Bet On Me podcast. It is Monday, July 25th, 2022. Guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. We've got some games on tonight that we like. We were eyeballing a few, and I think we're only going to be dealing with two of them tonight. We got the Texas Rangers at the Seattle Mariners. Uh, that's around 10 o'clock, I believe, the start time, a little bit after 10. We also have the Washington Nationals at the Los Angeles Dodgers, another start time of 10, a little bit after 10 Eastern. So uh, looking at some late games for me tonight, I, I was looking uh, to get some late night action going on. Also, if you want to get a detailed description... <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome back into another episode of the Bet On Me podcast. It is Monday, July 25th, 2022. I am your host, Daniel Perkins, and we've got a full slate of MLB tonight, and there is a couple games on that I like. The late game starting just a little bit past 10. We've got the Texas Rangers and the Seattle Mariners going on out west. We're over here in the East Coast, so this is all relative to West Coast, East Coast time. And we have the Washington Nationals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers there at Dodgers, at the Dodgers Park. So I'm looking at these games, and I'm thinking both these home teams win tonight. You know, you got the Dodgers. They're old reliable. Uh, I'm looking at them on the point spread right there, uh, one and a half minus 144. I'm really liking that one. I don't think the Nationals can get it done. If you guys um, want to get a full write-up of why exactly it is, I think that the Nationals won't get it done tonight. You could head over to Ca- – this is terrible. Hello, everyone, and welcome back into another episode of the Bet On Me podcast. It is Monday, July 25th, 2022. My name is Daniel Perkins. This is that show. Let's go ahead and get started. There is a full slate of MLB going on tonight, and I am ready for it. We've got a couple games late on the slate that we like, starting just a little bit after 10 p.m. Eastern. We have the Texas Rangers taking on the Seattle Mariners. Now, the Mariners are a really good team. They're hot. I like them. They're not one of the top-tier teams in the league. And some people may even think Texas is a little bit better than them, but I for sure don't. I think that the Seattle Mariners get the win tonight on the money line. It's dropped down to 152. It was at 148 when I took it. So if you want to go ahead and jump on that, uh, maybe get them in the first half, you know, get the Mariners first five. I might take a look at that myself. Also tonight, we are looking at the Washington Nationals with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers at home for this one. We know the Dodgers. They're a powerhouse team. They seem to be all reliable. You need a win. You just go with the Dodgers. So we're looking at the Dodgers on the money line tonight. Or, I'm sorry, not the money line, but the point spread tonight. That's at minus 144 right now, minus one and a half against the Nationals. Guys, all these picks are available on Capper Tech. That way I track them and you can see if I win or lose or not. Also, for every pick that I give out now, I'm giving a detailed write-up on why it is I'm giving that pick, whether it be the losses and wins, you know, against the spreads, just whatever it may be that has me thinking that, you know, I should go this way. I give a full detailed pick write-up over at Capper Tech. Guys, you can go over, hit the description, hit hit the link down in the description, go over to the Capper Tech website, check it out. I leave all my picks there, all my pick write-ups they have access to all kinds of tools you can use to make bets they have the trend finder they have the betting trends they have the betting trend finder which it finds trends between the two teams that are playing that day so they have betting trends where you can find the individual team and look at their trends throughout the past 10 games or so they also have a directory with over 8,000 pro verified cappers okay so you can go through and you can see how good they're doing, how bad they're doing, see the ones to follow, see the ones to stay away from, guys. They have links to podcasts. They have the game simulator, which I'm a big fan of, guys. I use the betting trends, the trend finder, and the game simulator. And while I'm doing that, I listen to a podcast. This is no lie. You can do that all right there on the Capper Tech site, guys. The link is down below in the description. Go check us out. Go check out some other cappers. You can register absolutely free. Use any username you want. Have access to all the amazing betting tools that Capper Tech offers for absolutely free, guys. And go check out some of those pro 
verified cappers and see if you like any of those picks they have to offer guys link is down below in the description so now that we're on the other side of that and we're looking at this we've got nfl starting i think camps start very soon first game august 4th at seven o'clock we got the raiders and the jacksonville jaguars uh college football is coming up so i believe it's like 47 days until we got football but right now we're still looking at baseball mlb guys and we brought on a special guest today to talk a little bit of baseball and let us know what he's thinking about, you know, the future looking to the postseason. I know we're all looking to the NFL right now. We're ready for those games, but we still got a lot of baseball left. And, you know, we've got a whole postseason in the MLB. I'm very excited about that, guys. So we brought on today deputy editor for ESPN.com chalk david bearman guys and we asked him a few questions all right guys we are back here with deputy editor espn.com chalk talk david bearman david thank you so much for coming on the show absolutely happy to be here happy to uh, happy to talk baseball as we enter that second half of the season and uh, here we are Yes, sir. Well, I'll just go ahead and get right into it. Uh, now that we're on the second half, into the second half of the MLB season, what teams do you think have a chance to make a deep run into the postseason? Sure. I'm not going to be, you know, sharing state secrets here. I think everyone knows that the top three teams in baseball right now, based on the first half of the season and, and what the lineup um, and pitching staff looks like, you have to look at the Dodgers, Yankees, and Astros as the three-headed monster uh, the Yankees look like they were running away with things, but the one thing that stands in their way and it stood in their way for a lot of times over the last couple of years, and that's the Houston Astros. Um, you know, the Astros are among the best teams in baseball, and if they play the Yankees the way they played them coming out of the break, then the Yankees are going to have some trouble down the stretch. But I think those are your your top two teams in the AL. Obviously, there can be some upsets along the way. For a while, people thought the Red Sox were going to be worth something. That that tailspin has started the other direction. Uh, I do think the Blue Jays can, can make a little bit of a run and give the Yankees a battle. But ultimately, I think it does come down to, to Yankees-Astros. As, as far as the, the NL is concerned, obviously, the Dodgers are the best team. Um, might be the best team in baseball outside the Yankees and, and Astros. Uh, they should run away with that division at some point. Um, I know it's getting larger and larger as they have been, you know, uh, hit around the Giants this past weekend. Obviously, the Mets are not someone you ever want to, you know, not talk about or, or, or eliminate. Um, I, I just think there are holes there with the Mets. Obviously, they have an outstanding pitching staff, but it's not a team that has won a lot or, or, or given anybody with a futures ticket um, a, a lot of confidence that they can get it done. So I still think it's the Astros to lose. But one team that I'm really looking at, and they've cut that Mets deficit down to a game and a half, is the Atlanta Braves. You know, defending World Series champions for a reason. Uh, very, very similar they did last year where they were under 500 at the All-Star break. Obviously, they weren't under 500 this year, um, but they struggled early, uh, made a run late, and then won the whole thing. I, I could see them doing that again. So those are some of the teams that I'm keeping my eye on. Um, but if you're holding a Dodgers, Yankee, or Astros future ticket, I think that's something that, that you should be pr- happy with and, and confident with. Yeah, I think I saw um... – the other day uh instagram post there was a guy who went and put uh two million dollars on the astros to win it all yep. so that's that's definitely one you could go with and be feel pretty confident about one more question for you david um any future bets in the mlb that you're liking uh it would be the atlanta braves i think that you might have gotten better value during the all-star break when they were closer to 11 or 12 to 1 i still like them at 8 to 1 Again, the defending World Series champions, you can never count them out. They seem to just have that team first mentality, um, not nearly as talented as the Dodgers, Yankees, Astros, Mets, and maybe not even as talented as the Blue Jays and Padres. But Atlanta got it done last year, and I could see them doing it again. Uh, they have the pieces to make a late run, and I think eight to one is a good value when you know everybody else is five or shorter. Like you're not going to get the Astros longer than five to one. You're not going to get the Dodgers and Yankees longer than four to one. And you're sitting at eight to one with the Braves. I do think the the NL is a little bit more wide open than the NL, where I think it's a it's a two horse Yankees Astros race in the AL. Um, if you don't have a Dodgers ticket, then I think putting money on either the Braves Braves or potentially the Padres to sneak in and get something done would be two teams that I'm kind of eyeing right now. And you want to grab them before it's too late. You're not worried about a World Series hangover with the Braves? I'm not right now because I think baseball is the one sport we can get away with it. 162 games, mm-hmm. long season, 
Um, you, you really play the first half of the season to figure things out, and then you you, you step on it a little bit in the second half. That's exactly what the Braves are doing. Mm-hmm. Um, if, if you had a World Series hangover, it would have been in April and May, and they didn't get okay. out of the gate very well. Obviously, the Mets took control of that division and have led it since the beginning. But we're looking at a game-and-a-half deficit as the Braves have gotten stuff done over the last six weeks. Um, if they had one, I, I think the Super Bowl hangover is a lot more – apparent in the NFL than your World Series hangover, especially for teams that lose. You see teams that lose the Super Bowl don't come back the next year very strong. But then again, there's only 16, 17 games there where in baseball you can work those things out over 162 games. Okay, that makes sense. Well, David, I will not take up any more of your time today. Thank you so much for coming on the show, and we hope to have you back on soon. Absolutely. Let me know when. I'm happy to be on. All right. Thank you, David. You have a great day. You too. All right, guys. Yeah, that was some really good stuff. Um, he's got me believing I need to go out and put a bet on all of those teams now. I definitely will take a look at the Braves. The Braves was somebody I was kind of not looking at because, uh, you know, I'm more of an NFL gambler. So in my mind, I'm like, well, could the Braves maybe be suffering from a hangover? But obviously not. I totally agree with David there. A lot of games to play in the MLB, guys. Make sure you go give him a follow over on the Twitter, guys. That is at David Behrman. Guys, make sure you guys go over and give him a follow on the Twitter. That is at David. Guys, make sure you give him a follow over on the Twitter. That's at D Behrman ESPN. All right, guys, that is about all the time we have today. Make sure you go over to Capper Tech to check out all of our picks, all those detailed pick write-ups. Make sure you're following us on the social over on Instagram and over on the Twitter. You can find those links below in the description. And if you're watching us on YouTube, like, share, hit that little bell. That way you can get notified for the next episode that comes out. And also don't forget we are on Apple Podcasts. You can head over to Apple Podcasts and listen to all the podcasts from the Bet On Me podcast library. Guys, thank you so much. Let's have a great Monday and let's go get those bets in. <laughs>